Hi, this is Peter Eels of UK Butterflies, and the purpose of this video is to show you how to navigate the classification used on the uh, website. So, the most prominent aspect of the classification, or taxonomy as it's known on the website, is actually the panel that you see just below the menus, where you see the six families of British butterflies represented, and they conform to the uh, classification used in the website. Also, the species listing on the left hand side here you'll see the species grouped by the same families. So again, there's an element of the classification or taxonomy there as well. Now the classification used on the website, if I just click on this article here, is taken from this publication, the Checklist of the Lepidoptera of the British Isles, which was published in December 2013. Now a more complete listing of the taxonomy used is actually found under the biology menu where you'll find a taxonomy option and if you click on that link then you'll see that there is a breakdown first of all for all of the butterflies um, going all the way from domain through to superfamily before we then get to the divisions that we have truly represented in some detail on the website where we can see the family, subfamily and so on of all of the species that are on the British list. Now the listing shown in this table is actually ordered from the most primitive to the least primitive. So the most primitive here is the Spanish festoon. If I scroll to the bottom you'll see that the least primitive is the Chalk Hill Blue. Now if I just click on uh, any of these elements I will be taken to more information. So for example if I click on the essentially the Papillionidae which contain the Swallowtails and the Apollos and Festoons then I'll see more information about this family. And that's true of all of the other taxonomic elements as well. So I'll get to see more information. Now the other place you'll see the classification used is on a species page. So if I click on Swallowtail here, for example, then in the top right hand side, you'll see the various elements of the taxonomy used there as well. So from family through to subfamily, tribe, genus, subgenus, species, and subspecies. And if there are any forms, forms would be listed as well. And that explains how the taxonomy in UK butterflies is actually presented. Thanks for watching.